Hello everyone from Facebook and YouTube and everyone else. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a topic that was asked from me to give to you. Okay, um, this topic is very detailed, but at the same time, it's complex. I, I'm making it very simple. So I'm hoping that everyone can understand it, but at the same time, it's complex where you can fill in the blanks and uh, apply it to your own life, okay? So what's the topic? Basically, it's understanding dating, and I, I got my cheat notes here, okay? So let's start off, very simple. What ultimately is the existence or existing nature of a man and a woman in context dating, okay? When it comes to a woman, assume, assume that she's on an island. And on this island, she is very successful. A typical woman, and I mean gender aspect, a woman, when she becomes successful by herself with no one around her to influence her, she will look at her success and say, this is my identity. This is who I am. This is what I achieved. And so because I done this, become successful, this is a great thing and I should be appreciated for what I did. That's her identity is the success. Okay. Likewise, if a man is on an island and he is successful, when he looks at his success, he does not look at it in the point of view of a woman. He looks at it as this is proof of myself, meaning this is the evidence of who I am. This is proving the fact that I am because I can show you the success. So when it comes to a woman, it's her identity. And when it comes to a man, it's his ability to prove himself. Um, a woman may say, for an example, I need a man to provide for me. Well, his success is the evidence and he will look at his success as the proof that I can provide for you. He will never say that his success is his identity. He will never say that. Likewise, on the other side of the spectrum, when a woman who's on an island without any influence, she will look in the mirror and she will say, I done a great thing. This is something that that's me. Okay. Knowing this, a single man and a single woman think totally different if we want to become successful or if we want to be perceived successful. And I'll give you an example. When a woman looks at a man, it's very obvious. Show me and here's my proof, okay? But when a man looks at a woman and she says, I'm successful because of my career, a man will say, I don't care. He doesn't care because that's not what he's looking for. It is not a competition. A woman is not competing against a man. A woman has a different, uh, there's something about a woman that should be presented differently than who she is. Okay, and we'll get to it in a second. So bear with me. But that conflict, because when a man presents himself to a woman and she is successful for whatever she thinks is success for herself, she will feel unappreciative and she will feel like no one really cares about her and she will feel neglected and so on and so on. You guys can fill in the blank. So ladies, when you look for a man to benefit you as far as promote you because you're successful, don't. He doesn't care. I mean, don't get me wrong. He may say, I'm proud of you. I'm happy that you 
became successful, but in his nature, he doesn't care because you're not his competing nature. Now, when it comes to man and man, if he's mature, a man and man will say, congratulations, keep up the good work, and so on. But an insecure man will say, a rich man, he will be jealous and anger and, and to a rich man who's driving something nice and so on. So the immature versus mature in a man, but the point of view is we view each other, right or wrong, immature or not, we view each other as the proof, the evidence of what we can provide, not the fact that who we are by ourselves, if that makes sense. Okay. So if we have two individuals on the island and they are now successful within themselves. Okay, let's just keep it there for an example. Eventually, they will want to come together. Okay. When you come together, I want you to realize you're under a survival position. Okay? A survival position is because you're on an island, he's on an island, Okay, we'll just keep it there. <laughs> uh, you're both on the island and you have both have resources. And that resources is very limited. And because it's very limited, the idea is if we come together, we can enhance one another and so on. Okay. But that survival position is ultimately converted into another name called alone. When you're on your island by yourself, you're alone and you want to come together. Okay. If, ladies, a man does not care about your success, what does he care about? In a traditional point of view of man and woman, a man will look at the woman from her puberty age to around 25 to 27, and that is the prime of the woman of childbirthing age. A man, when he looks and provides himself as the evidence of what he can provide, and he wants a woman, his mentality is, this is not my identity, this is my evidence, that I can take care, I can provide to the next generation, okay? A man who is not successful in his own self and feels embarrassed and or disappointing nature, if he has children, for an example, he will tend to not be with that child because he doesn't want to show that child the lack of success through himself, okay? When it comes to a woman having children, her objective is still, please give me appreciation, show me what I've done. That's her identity in context. Your identity, your true nature, and I'm talking about nature nature, is not the success that you possess, like being a businesswoman or a doctor or alert or a nurse or whatever, something in your career, right? Your true nature is being a good mother, being a good father, but in context, you can't be praised for neither one of them until you become one or the other or both. You won't get praised because you're a doctor, ladies. I hate to say this, but reality is a man will appreciate the fact that you are a doctor, but you won't get praised for it. You will, however, get praised for be having a child and becoming a mother and you will be praised in being a wife in context proverbs 31 and other scriptures in all religions says the same thing a woman is her value is in her hands right but in context her worthiness or her blessings comes in the fact that she's a good mother or a good wife Okay. okay. Understanding that, 
a lot of times a woman will go past her puberty in 25, 27 to attain, obtain a career and she'll realize in the later years that they met, that may not have been the right decision. She may not say that, but the reality is they may not be the right decision. And now that she is successful, she'll fool herself or convince herself in one hand to say, I don't need a man. In the other sense, that I, she'll come up with some excuse. But the truth of the matter is, when a older man and a younger man finds themselves successful in one shape or form, more and less, if he separates from his relationship with his high school sweetheart and so on and so forth, if he has the opportunity, he will go younger. And younger is from puberty age to 25, 27, that age. Okay. In both cases, a man in the island and a woman in the island, you both are good people. There's nothing that says that you're not a good person. When you guys understand your self-esteem or your self-value, and you guys look at each other, and you're trying to figure it out, here is the number two part, communication. If you introduce yourself to a new person, a new man from a woman's point and a new woman from a man's point, if you're introducing yourself new to this person, you're going to communicate. The three things that I want you guys to really pay attention to, and that is this. The first type of communication that both of you are going to have irrelevant to your age is primal thinking. Do I want to have sex with you or mate with you? Do I want to fight you or do I want to run from you? Those are the three primal thinking in the very beginning of all communications when two people on their island and you want to come together. Okay. Primal thinking thinks works like this. Okay. I want to mate with you. If you say yes and he says yes, you guys want to mate with each other, but you don't want to fight and you don't want to run from each other, then the objective of the relationship is based off of sex and sex only. Please understand this. Okay? If you, if the man and you want are fighting or he's going to fight with you ladies and the answer is yes, he wants to fight with me is because he's a man, you're a woman and you have five other men. In his mind, his primal thinking is fighting you is because he's not technically fighting you even though you're the one who's holding on to the five other guys just just a number. He's fighting you because he is in his competitive nature. And his primal thinking is, if you have five others, I need to compete against those five others, but I'm mad at you because you didn't pick me and you are forcing me to fight, not you, but those other guys who you're holding on to. That's a fight. That's primal. Okay. If that's you... That's why. Run from you. Okay? Run from you. Running from you is looking like a man who has money, for an example, and a woman who has sex. If a man has money to offer and the woman only wants to have sex that she's offering, yes, that sexual mating will take place and that's the only primary there, but he's going to run from you because he has value. What is his value? He proved himself to you. What do you have of value? Well, I'm a successful woman. Who cares? You're not having his child because you say you don't want children. So 
in this context, that's one avenue of him running from you. The other one is um, a man who has no money and a woman that has money. A woman who has money, she will not date a guy who does not have or don't have money in comparison to herself. So regardless of how you like each other, there's going there, there, that relationship won't last. You're going to run from each other. Okay? So the three primal, sex or mating, fighting, and running, those are the first three uh, positions that you guys are going to go through in the first introduction. How are you guys going to express one of the three or all three is through a, a visual or a verbal communication. Okay, we can say body language, but that's if you meet somebody face to face, but we're in a social techno technical technology driven people. And so we're looking at each other through our photos and our videos. If you are expressing yourself sexy, you're only expressing through his primal mating. Primal, that's it. If you show yourself and you have a person and you show yourself with four or five, you uh, five or six or seven, so on, that that's fighting. If you're successful and you look nice and you so on and and you and your partner doesn't know that's that's running we're going to run away from that okay so your social media plays a big part of your communication but at the primal level it's very easy in what we call stereotyping very easy for somebody to look at you and stereotype you those three, if you have a yes with any one of those, I want to have sex or they want to have sex with me, they're fighting me, they're running from me. If you have one, any of those three and any of those, if that's a yes, you do not have a solid relationship with anyone. Okay. So in the communication, you might have to adjust how you present yourself. Okay. And then adjust yourself the process of communications okay if you have no a guy or mostly a guy that gives you a no meaning I think you're attractive but I don't want to just have sex with you that that's the man who's telling you I don't want to that's the, my objective with you is not to have sex with you and he is not fighting you because you're the type of woman who doesn't hang out with all these guys and and you and him are equal in the uh, in in the social lifestyle arena, and so there's a no to all three of these primal thinking process, the think thought processes. And if there's a no to all three, then you ultimately have a friend. You have a friend. There are plenty of guys who does not give their strength over to a woman, meaning he finds you attractive, but he's not just wanting to be with you sexually. And because of him still hanging around you, your friend, guy friend, ladies and girls for guys, your friend is still hanging around the problem with guys and friends hanging around is because the friends are perfect for you. They're perfect for you. It's just something about you is not ready to settle down or ready to submit to the relationship. You say you want a relationship, but you don't you know you're not ready you're not ready this is how we have ladies and guys having friends though friends are not using you for your sex they're not fighting you they're telling you and working out they're not running from you because they're always there when you need them they are good friends 
Why are you not with them in a relationship? Is because you are not settled with you. If you were settled with you, you may have two or three or four friends, but you'll sit down with them and say, hey, let's do some business together. When I say business, I mean, let's have a relationship. Why not? Because you're not settled with you and you're believing a lie. Okay. If you have a friend and they're past your primal, meaning they're, they're not using for sex, they're not fighting, they're not running from you. The meaning of friend ultimately is someone who can see you for yourself. They can see you, your goods and your bads, your strengths and your weaknesses. They see you for who you are. The question ultimately is, will you be a benefit to my life? And if a friend is sticking around through all of what you're going through, then they believe that you will be a benefit to their life. But for some reason, you may believe that they're not benefit to your, your life. Or I think you do believe that. That's why they're still your friends. Which is also a direct competition to someone you may like. But. So your friend who's with you, not using you for your sex, not fighting you, not running from you. They know you for you. They've been with you for you. If you start a business, meaning a relationship, a personal and a one that makes money, which is a business, ultimately, a personal relationship. Why are we together? We're together to enhance one another. What are you enhancing? Okay, well, I'm enhancing my lifestyle. I'm enhancing my finances. I'm enhancing my family. What is? What are you enhancing? And can a friend enhance you? I believe they can for a lot of you because that's why you're keeping them around. Okay. And if they can enhance you, why are you not being enhanced? Because you're not settled within yourself. Yes. So in the beginning, and, and this is the very simplistic part of what I'm trying to say when it comes to communication, the initial communication, and the problems that I've been dealing with and I've been asked to help more people. (laughs) Is in all relationships, start off with the island. I'm on an island, you're on an island. I like you, you like me. In the communication, before communication, in the initial thought process of you wanting someone in your life, please be reminded that a guy don't care, ladies, what you do. It's your profession. Handle your business. It's it's irrelevant to the fact. Nowhere in Proverbs 31 does the man call her blessed because of her entrepreneurship. He calls her blessed because she takes care of the family, meaning she's a great mother. She's a great wife. Okay. So if you're looking for praises from a man, I'm sorry. He can appreciate you, but he's not going to praise you. And ladies, it's already self-evident because you guys continuously say it is you're looking for a man to provide and all you have to do is just look at who he is, his finances. He will express it, his physical body. He will have no problem in expressing that and so on. So he's showing you, he's proving to you who he is. And so therefore, that is how that works, ladies. Prove to him that you can be a good mother, a good wife. He will praise you. 
you tell him I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a whatever, he doesn't care. In your communication, the very beginning, keep in mind the three very important primal thinking processes. Sex, mating, fighting, running. Sex, if sex is the objective, that's all he cares. He doesn't know who you are, don't care to know who you are. He just wants sex. He wants the, 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 the hunt to fulfill the objective, having sex with you. Okay. Fighting with you because you have your other friends that you're holding on to and you're making him compete and vice versa. And running from you because you guys are not equally balanced in your lifestyles and so on. If you have someone that's that's a no to all three of those, you have a friend. If you have a friend, they know who you are. Submit to it in some kind of way if you desire. If not, then maybe you have to consider you're not ready within you. And it's not them. Because if it's them, why are you hanging around them still? Okay? Come to an understanding in your communication from whomever you have a relationship with. Okay? And plan out your two lifestyles, your two islands, and bringing the resources together to have one community within yourselves and how to enhance yourselves, let it be in a sexual position, let it be in a financial position, let it be in a futuristic position. And futuristic, what I mean by that is the future, meaning through your children, okay? This is the very beginning. I know this is very simple and this can be very complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Examine yourself. It is nothing wrong, ladies, for you guys to be successful. But that's between you. That's you, that's your profession, that's what you do. And that is nothing short of an awesome thing for you to do because like anybody else who wants to achieve success, it is hard, but you did it. Congratulations and keep going. But a man don't care. He only cares to praise a good wife, a good mother. This is why a man doesn't hurt because you're a doctor. He hurt because of the children or not the lack of children and the lack of marriage, love, marriage, okay? He's a good man or she's a good woman and you guys hold on to her or him, you're causing problems for your future. If they're not good, let them go. If you can't let them go, they're good. If they're good and you can't let them go, sit down with them and see if you guys can build a business, a relationship, personal, make money, enhance one in each other, each other's life, the two islands becoming one and joining the resources together. And if you can't do that, continue working on yourself because there's no shortage of men or women. All right, guys, that's all I got.